Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Maverick and welcome back to another Draft to Glory. Now, team of the season is officially here. It feels like we have all been waiting for this for so, so long. It's unbelievable. Now, smash a like button on this video. Can we aim for 500 likes? It's a big target, but I know you guys can hit it. You've hit it before, so I'm going to ask you guys to hit it for team of the season. As I said, it feels like we have been waiting for this moment for so, so long. And we're also potentially waiting for other modes or another mode in a World Cup mode or a World Cup add-on or something like that to fill the summer. Because, of course, the World Cup is in the summer as well. So, guys, do we think this is going to happen? That is a question. Message me on Twitter. Message me on Instagram. Message me on Snapchat. All of the links are down in the description below. Hit us up. Do you think there is going to be a World Cup mode? Do you want a World Cup mode? Do you want it to be a completely different game? Do you want it to be an add-on? What is your opinions? What is your thoughts and what is your feelings on that? Now, when it comes to where we are at in this draft, what I'm going to do, as I said, team of the season is here. Team of the season, Bentner is an option. Team of the season, Oblak is an option. There's so many team of the season options, obviously, for the most consistent, which is the first one, which comes out today. Well, the time you're watching this video, which is Friday morning, it comes out tonight at six, I think six or seven. Some you, EA release things around those sorts of times. So that is when it is going to be live. You guys, I'm so hyped for it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I really, really am. I really, really am looking forward to it. Now, I know Bentner is normally a silver, so it's going to be hard for me to say that I'm going to get him in this draft. And if you guys are coming to see a team of the season, Bentner, that's not what the title is about. As I said, I wanted to talk about team of the season. I'm excited about team of the season, and it is today. So I'm letting you know it's today. If you don't know, which you should know, and I'm sure you do know, I'm also just letting you feel the hype, you know? Um... Well, that's that's what I'm going for anyway. And when it comes to formation for triple two, I've been playing it a lot in, with my normal team. So I'm quite I've become quite accustomed to it and where people are. As I say that, we do in fact get a right wing Messi in 94 Messi. Obviously, we don't have any wing positions in this formation. So what I'm going to have to do is go for a Messi. I'm going to change the camera over for you guys so you guys can see the chemistry of this draft but starting off with the left striker oh left cam apparently that's Deli Ali good option striker team this season Kane would be unbelievable Muller really is that ugh, is that really the best option it's not at all <clears throat> plus it's a center forward so that's very very interesting we have then got I said team of the year even not team of the season team of the year Harry Kane what a good option he is. So he gets himself in there. That boosts the chem massively. CDM. I don't know. Uh, team Kante. Team of the Year Kante would be an unbelievable option. We have gone for or got the options of Pjanic. He's very, very good. We've got Adressa Gay, who of course gets us chemistry. So I'm going to go, I think, Adressa Gay. I, that Pjanic looks nice. And he is a good option, but I'm going to go gay just to be a tiny bit safe. Now, on this right-hand side, it's looking very, very interesting. I could have gone Pjanic and used Diabala. I can go James Rodriguez to go with Muller, which means we're going to have to try and go Bundesliga, which I haven't... I don't really see many Bundesliga options given to you in drafts. And once again, we haven't been given a Bundesliga option. I'm going to go... Fernandinho, just because he is obviously very, very good on this game. Um, we've got six chem for Muller, which isn't great. It really isn't great. Left back, hopefully we can get... Uh, I don't really know. I was about to say, I don't really know who would be best to get in this situation. And none of these are really very good. Um, doesn't help me out chem-wise. Doesn't help me out league-wise. I'm just going to go Tellez because he's got the best stats. Right back, a Kimmich would be unbelievable here. We've got a Kimmich. We can go Kimmich. So we are going to go Kimmich. At centre-back, a Boateng or a Hummels, of course. Naldo works. Naldo actually works because he links Fernandinho and Kimmich. So we're going to go Naldo. 
hope for a Brazilian uh, here. So David Luiz would be ideal. Nathan Ake is also useful. So we could get a Premier League. We could get a Premier League left back at some point in this. So again, it's not all. It, everything is not lost here. It is not lost here. Manuel Neuer, sick, very very good. Or do I go David De Gea? David De Gea is much much better on this game. Really is much better. I'm gonna go. Ah, oh, this is tough, guys. I don't actually know. This is real tough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just so used to using De Gea and I've used him so many times that I've just gone for something a little bit different and I shouldn't have because then we've got Bauman there who could have covered as an option. We've got Rico there as well. I should have gone David De Gea. Hindsight's a wonderful thing with draft. Uh, I really, really should have gone De Gea, but I didn't. And we've got Brazil another Brazilian left back in Dalbert who is quick. Uh, 78 rating. I'm just going for rating there. There's no other real choice I've got. Again, these are these defensive options are absolutely shocking. Like, really, really shocking as well. I cannot see me going very far with this draft because this is woeful. Like, really woeful. Here we go. Eden Hazard, he's obviously a nice little cam. I'll throw him... I'll throw him in there. Because we could potentially switch. Higuain at striker. Lacazette at striker. Ooh, Lacazette at striker. Could work. Because Rodriguez gets pretty strong links anyway. Or Timo Werner. He doesn't really get any strong links though. <clears throat> Nor does Lacazette. Do you know what? This this has been this has been interesting. That's the best choice of words I'm gonna use. Mane. Mane is a very good option. I can't remember who else was there, but I'm gonna go Mane. Goat in centre mid, another good option. He could get himself in there, and that would actually put the chem up to 87. I need a left back. I really, really need a left back. I do get, mm, I don't get a left back, but I get Sanchez, who's good. Neymar is a super sub, unbelievable. Love Neymar in this game. And then that is, that's it. So this team is pretty shocking. Fernandinho at left back. I actually think I'd prefer that. Switch those two round. 92 chem there. I mean, sometimes you've got to do the best you can with a bad situation. If I put Lacazette up top, minus five chem. Okay, so Mane is a super sub option. We've got Hazard, Lacazette. The sub ability we've got cracking on right here is unbelievable, by the way. But, chemistry wise, it isn't looking amazing, chemistry wise. It's okay, but could be much, much better. A Brazilian Premier League, which doesn't exist, so. We're going to have to just go Premier League, I think, 95, 92, 95. We're going to go for that one. So this draft is one of the most interesting I've probably built. I'm not going to lie about it. Uh, interested in that it's not great. But... Let's not get it down. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We could still win this draft. And I've won drafts with worse teams. I, I I think that's actually kind of a bit of a lie. But I've won drafts with bad teams. So it's not completely out of the realms of possibility that I could win with the team that we just got there. But guys, do you think I can do it? The idea is for me to win this draft. As you know, every draft I do, I want to try and win it. That is kind of the purpose 
But guys, let's head into our games. Let's see who the first opponent has got and let's see if I can win this draft. So game number one, we have Inform Firmino or Path to Glory Firmino. Inform one to watch Neymar. We have Birthday Ronaldo. Team of the group stage, Casemiro, Man of the Match, Rakitic. Don't know the centre midfielder, PK. Team of the Year, Marcelo and Lloris in goal. Now, the team is a pretty crazy one. Very, very nice early simple goal from Kane. There we go. Through ball to him. He is in a goal. Nice little slide rule ball into the bottom right-hand corner of the goal. 1-0 after six minutes. Perfect little start here. But I'm not cutting this clip because you guys can probably guess what happens next it's pretty standard it's pretty normal in fifa and it's something which has meant to have been patched i've said this multiple times i will continue to say it kickoff goals have not been patched look at this roberto firmino with the spin turn neymar just runs forward he just passes it back and hits a shot there we go it's literally that simple for him seven minutes gone it's 1-1 he apologizes and uh, i think that celebration is to trigger me a little bit more but we go in here with muller into kane kane nice little turn he uses his body uses his strength finds Muller again Muller left foot what a goal that is and throughout this entire draft for me Harry Kane team of the year was unbelievable a little bit of a spoiler alert there but uh, he is incredible throughout this entire draft for me Neymar he goes for the shot and um, there we go 2-2 from what is a ball roll and a ridiculous outside the box shot. So now this guy scored two goals that are long shots. Look at that for a crunch and tackle. It's a horrendous. Rodriguez goes into Muller. Muller passes it back to Kane. Kane, I do not know what Marcelo is doing there, but Kane low driven. 23 minutes gone. 3-2 to me. I am advantage for the first time or second time in this game in fact and uh, here we go again uh, Harry Kane goes in on goal he passes to Muller almost an identical goal to the one before low driven into the bottom left hand corner 26 minutes gone 4-2 I am now fully in the driving seat this game is mine to lose Muller into Harry Kane Harry Kane goes past cheeky little finish I'm feeling confident here 45 minutes gone I'm pretty sure I have won this game so I'm starting to experiment a little bit have a little bit of fun with what i am doing then we have deli ali going in a nice little roulette turn fake stop as well into mane neymar running forward and as i said i'm experimenting having a bit of fun nice little through ball there harry kane left foot what a finish that is 6-2 68 minutes gone I don't blame him. I don't blame my opponent. He decides this is it for him. I didn't mean to shush, but Harry Kane did shush there. Whether that pushed him over the edge and is the reason he left this game, I'm not too sure. He was 6-2 down there in the 68th minute. So it's probably a good idea that he did, in fact, leave this game. And he has done all as we are waiting for to see the confirmation. So you guys can see opponent has left the match or will leave the match anyway. I'm not sure how long I've left in, but... I seem to have left in a very long time, but there you go. Your opponent has lost connection. He's given up. Game number three, we have Inform Mertens, Aguero, Hazard. You then have Birthday Florenzi. You have Team uh, a European Man of Match, even Gundogan, Pogba, Azpilicueta, Kula Bali, Douglas Costa at left back. Interesting. Valencia and Reina in goal. Now, this game was very very interesting first goal it is pure pace from Aguero he outpaces Naldo and lasers a shot into that bottom left hand corner 22 minutes gone it's 1-0 to him I'm a little bit worried here because this guy was a very very good player at times he knew how to control the game he knew how to control the ball but we have Muller here kickoff goal once again I'm gonna ruin it you guys know but you can kind of guess why I've showed you that but Harry Kane to Muller Muller low driven shot and Florenzi actually moves his feet out of the way to make sure that does go in 1-1 24 minutes gone kickoff goals OP they need to go I hope for everyone's sake they are not in FIFA 19 but we have Mertens going forward here and it is so simple for him he just runs he literally just runs in a straight line the player switching is horrendous and again a lasered shot into that bottom left hand corner as you can see in the top right he has in fact got a red card it says two bits of visual glitch we have the third man run op free kick and it gets me back in this game 2-2 31 minutes gone in this game as i said this guy was a good player he controlled the game at times but rodriguez goes into muller muller's got a lot of space here far far too much he passes it across to kane kane there we go 45th minutes 45th minute gone and it is 3-2 to me i'm back in this game i'm in the driving seat harry kane once again is the driver for that we then have Garnett, Gay, 
getting in very very quick there and getting me on the counter attack very quick we have Messi running in left foot low driven 4-2 66 minutes gone again I am fully in the driving seat now I've taken control of this game and I'm looking to score a lot more goals we have Mane into Neymar Neymar just holds the ball up here we go see you later as P and uh, that is a penalty there he's dived in with Florenzi and he's lost his head at this point as I said it is 4-2 he's already got one red card the visual glitch shows it as two but it is one red card he's diving into tackles Harry Kane the arrow is in fact on as well which thankfully he can't see there we go 5-2 71 minutes gone in this game and uh, this is game over this is game one I was worried at the beginning but now you can see those nerves are out of the way they are gone they are not needed we have Mane into Neymar Neymar gets tackled he then goes forward here with Insigne he just runs, 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 one, two, it's that simple. The whole defense is cut open, a chipped through ball and uh, Manuel Neuer, 92 rated best goalkeeper in this game, best goalkeeper in this game. And uh, what is he doing there? Honestly, what is he doing there? I'm not too sure about that one, but it's 5-3. I'm not too worried here. It is game over anyway. We then have got Deli Alli going forward into Mane. Mane waits for the run of Messi. Messi on the outside left foot. You know those go in. Those always go in from Messi. 6-3, 86 minutes gone. This is game over. We are into game number three at this point and here we go we have his team he has got Ronaldinho centre forward Mares, Inform Silva Mata Pogba Milinkovic Savic Miranda Marcelo Sanchez Dani Alves and Czech in goal fairly solid team not a lot of chemistry and uh, it seems to be a running theme for this draft there was not a lot of chemistry in people's teams but we have Harry Kane going forward once a grand great, great feet great pass Hammers Rodriguez scores the goal seven minutes gone and it is 1-0 to me and uh, aeroplane celebration just to show or celebration should I say to show that we are flying here we go we have this time it is Deli Alli going forward him and Harry Kane chase the ball down they get their just deserves and Deli Alli nice little finesse low driven into the bottom right hand corner of the goal 22 minutes gone it is 2-0 to me at this stage the aeroplane has come out once again we are flying boys here we are flying uh, we have Ake into uh, Rodriguez, nice interchange, Muller makes the run down the line, he just waits, nice little fake turn there, Kane he waits as well, Check is in no man's land, 3-0, 36 minutes gone and Nebula 4-5-7, he's had enough, he's absolutely had enough, he's out this game, he's done. 3-0 and this is the final guys what a team to come up against in the final as well 73 chemistry he's got four full backs across his back line he's then got a left midfield or two left midfielders in midfield and um the team was all over the shop absolutely all over the shop i never scored a goal like this on fifa neuer throws the ball out of his hands Harry Kane is too fast, too powerful and too strong for David Silva there. He's in on goal. Lovely little finish. As I said, all draft, he was unbelievable for me. He was so, so good. It made me consider wanting to buy him for my normal team. That's just how good he is. And here we go. We go forward again. This time, Danny Alves giving away a penalty. I'll take it. I'll take a penalty in the 28th minute to put me 2-0 up in the final. Here we go. Harry Kane runs up. He does take the penalty again. The arrow is still on. I've done the exact same and David De Gea dives over the ball. We see that far too much in penalties, but 28 minutes, 2-0. Um, and uh, it's game over at this point. You'll see the loading screen. He does, in fact, leave um, the conditions under which he leaves. I'm not going to talk too much about, but if you guys know, um, you probably understand what is going on here in this moment with the loading screen coming up 28 minutes gone your opponent has left the match see you later goodbye and there we go 2-0 and a rage quit in the final so we have actually won the final and we have won the draft now guys as I said I have won drafts with teams bad teams however that team played so so well and I'm not just saying it you guys saw the goals I scored you guys saw the amount of of goals we scored in this game or this draft in general sorry unbelievable ridiculous amount of goals ridiculous like team of the year Harry Kane was unbelievable throughout this entire draft for me and we have romped our way through the final we've got a rare gold pack two rare gold packs should I say and a premium gold pack I'm looking forward to it because 
as you guys know, we don't normally get anything great. I'm gonna open the bronze pack, not that we wanna see that, but I'm skipping it, just getting it out of the way with. Um, warm up pack, essentially. And I mean, we got a rare, is that a sign? Is that a sign that we get a good player? But what I'm actually gonna do, and a few of you guys might dislike me for this, but as I said, team of the season is out. So I'm gonna give you guys the option. I'm gonna enable the comment section on this video. And I'm gonna ask, do you want me to open these packs at the end of every draft still as we continue to go on? Or do you want me to save them and wait until there is a team of the season for example a Premier League team of the season if you guys like that one the most and then open them all when they are available and in packs let me know your thoughts because I will save them if not I'll open them at the end of every video it's entirely up to you guys so let me know how you want it because as I said this series is as much your series as it is mine I've always said that and I will always say that about this series so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on that but to wrap it up Team of the season is out tonight. There's, it's not, it's not clickbait. It's none of that. It is out tonight. Most consistent team of the season, as voted by us, the community. The first time that's ever happened. It's really, really exciting. I'm excited for it, and hopefully we get some really, really good players. But there's only one way to find out, and we'll see later. But guys, as I said at the start of the video, smash the like button. If you are new around here, subscribe and join the wolf pack because one. If you haven't joined the wolf pack what are you doing and number two the subscribe button is just above or just below depending on what browser you are watching it on or what device you're watching it on so as i said if you are new around here join the wolf pack i promise you you won't regret it if you enjoy fifa football fortnite just everything gaming and football basically it's been your boy maverick and until the next draft of glory which should be tomorrow morning i am out